good money march you know uh feeling good right now um basically man you know i just want to kind of highlight you a little bit you know i'm not gonna scream at you i might scream at you a little bit but that just depends on how excited i get but uh yeah i, I think i just want to kind of talk to you about you you know you can do this you know you can stand on your own two feet and what made me think of this is because i i see a lot of, of producers that you know stay at home with their parents and you know work nine to fives and struggle and things like that and and that's okay that's okay but i find that the belief is inherent in them that they can't stand on their own two feet with this music production that they can't get up and get out there and sell their beats and make a living off a of music production business they don't believe they're smart enough you know they don't believe in themselves like, they, they see other producers do it. They hear Postman, they hear Postman say that they can do it. They hear Postman talk about it. They hear, they hear Postman talk about all the other producers who are doing it. They, they see the interviews of producers that are, that are doing it. But they, deep down inside, don't believe that really they can do it. And I'm here to say that anybody can do it. You don't got to be smart. You don't got to be smart. I didn't have a, a high GPA. I didn't go to college. I didn't do these things. And a lot of producers I know, same thing. You don't got to be smart. Now you gotta be intelligent. Intelligent, in my definition of intelligent, is different than most people's different definition of intelligence. Intelligence is not book smart and being able to regurgitate information, get good grades. Intelligence to me is to just make a decision based upon investigation. That's what I call intelligence. Now that's not the official definition, but what, and what I mean by that is this: before you make a decision on something. Like, like, basically, before you, you make a decision on, let's say, buying marketing magic. Now, it, it, this could sound like a sales pitch to you, but it's not. Just listen. And you go to the forums and go, okay, hey, guys, is this, and I see this sometimes, you know, sometimes I, some people, you guys show me the different forums, people are talking crazy, and they'll go, well, is this guy a scam? And then people just go, yeah, that looks like a scam. You see? Because that's ignorance. Now, intelligence would make you investigate and say, well, let me see. Let me go in and look, research. And then I'll make a decision based upon investigation. That's intelligence. Now, that takes someone who's intelligent. And that person's going to be rich, successful, whatever they want to be in life. But see, the average person is ignorant and live in ignorance and will die in ignorance. Why is that? Because they make decisions without investigation. Right? They come to conclusions without any investigation. So something that could change their life. They would just say, I'm, I'm making a decision on it based upon nothing, no type of investigation, just based upon just nonsense. But if you look closely at the average person, look at them and listen to their speech, listen to their speech patterns. If you pay attention, you'll notice that 90% of shit they're saying is shit that they just make up anyway. That they have done no real investigation on. They heard it from somewhere else and believed it. Like the idea that you can't make it as a producer. It's an unstable career. Now, if you use even an ounce of intelligence, I mean like an ounce, and you just opened your ears and saw how much music is needed in the world, the demand for music. Now, never known if you just studied economics and you understood supply and demand, the most basic basic thing in economics, supply and demand. If there is a large demand for something and a small supply, that means it is a good market to go into. That means it is stable as hell. But once the supply it outweighs the demand, then you start having oversaturation. But again, most people don't even know this. So, if you look at that and you say, how much demand is there for music? Then you will realize that there is nowhere near Nowhere near enough supply for it. So it's a huge opportunity for you. I mean, are, there are way more music artists than there are producers and hot producers at that. And, and I mean, you got to think, every time this is disposable, it's like food. It's like saying food is no longer going to be needed. I mean, you know how fucking stupid that would sound, right? That we would not need to eat anymore. Once you eat a food item, it is gone and a new food needs to be produced and bought and sold. It's the same way with a beat. Once an artist or a TV show, whenever they use a beat, they're going to need a new beat. Right? Over and over. It's just, it, it never stops. So until music stops being used, which 
throughout the history of the music industry, I'm talking about hundreds of years, it's still being used. And it's now, with the internet, it's being used more than ever. It's in everything. Every movie, every TV show, every song, everything has music. For someone to say that their music production is not a stable career, you would have to be talking out of the deepest part of the anal region. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Now, that may have been pretty foul. And excuse me if I'm being, you know, sort of... Uh, you know, nasty. I don't want to be nasty or nothing like that. But you have to really understand what I'm saying. Now, again, we love these people because they're our parents. They're our family. They're our friends. But we just have to make the understanding known to ourselves that they don't know what the hell they're talking about because they have done no research. That's just it. They're not bad people. They're not stupid people. They're ignorant. Ignoring the facts, they're ignorant. But they are not stupid, they are not evil, they are not trying to hurt us. They just simply don't know. But you can't live your life and make your decisions based upon what someone else doesn't know. You understand? You got to be able to stand on your own two feet. You can do it. You can do it. I'm telling you, it's not even a hard thing if you get the knowledge. And then apply the knowledge. Now that's a, now that's a whole other ballgame in itself. Most, most producers are not willing to do that. Now you, you having too much fun wasting time and bullshitting around all day. That ain't gonna cut it. That is not gonna cut it. I'm gonna tell you that ain't gonna cut it. You, this is money marks. You better learn and get this money. Get your business right. Cause that is not gonna cut it in, in, in the world. And, and you got to you got to be on your game. You got to be on your knowledge game. You got to be managing your money, moving money, business. How do I sell these beats? You know, a lot of times you know that that fear of you know if you make connection with somebody. You know, and you guys are becoming like friends, you know, you don't want to talk about money. You don't want to talk about, hey, well, buy this beat from me now. You got to get over that. That's something, I mean, that's that's a real fear. And we're going to talk about that in a later video about getting over getting over that fear of, of selling, of selling to people. But just I, just this video, I just want to let you know, Money March, get your knowledge. You can do it. You can do this. It's, it's, and I don't want to sound like a motivational speaker. Y'all, this may be motivating you, but I'm doing off, based off, and I was going to show you all my books on the mind and on potential and on personal development. So you can see that I'm not just talking from, I'm talking from experience, coaching, and the knowledge of understanding myself and understanding how the, our minds work. You know, I mean, trust me when I tell you this, you possess all the power that, that you need to get up and stand up on your own two feet on your own, and, and sell your beats and use your music production and use it as a career to, to live your dreams and, and be able to, you know, it's nothing better than making a beat. This is what you love to do. You know, it's no better feeling than to make a hot banger. I know that. I'm a producer just like you. And there's no better feeling, trust me, when you got money in your pocket and you're doing it and you can buy better equipment. And, I mean, you always want to be growing and getting more money. More money. You understand? Because more money means you can, you can do it at a bigger level. You can keep buying new equipment. You can stop stealing software. And start buying it and supporting the, the ec economy of music production. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to stay on the same level that you're on for years. You want to keep always expanding. You want more people to, to listen to your music and be affected by it. I mean, and you got to understand music, music production is a beautiful gift. It's a beautiful career. We need more producers like you to share their gift of music with the world. It helps put people at ease. It helps motivate people. You know how I get motivated in the morning? I listen to music. I listen to music. It motivates me. And then guess what? I get to come here and do this stuff and help you make help you make money. So I mean, music is is it it moves. It makes the world go round, man. It makes the person that's doing something else. They may not be in music production. They may be their own field. They may be a doctor or something. They may be maybe the next person that's next Obama or something. Obama got Jay Z in his in his iPod. Why? Because that motivates him to to be successful to be great. And without a music producer, there is no Jay-Z, right? So, I mean, you have a, a gift that is important to the world. And it's important that you get it out there. I love music. I'm a lover of music. I kind of soar music. I create music. I listen to it. But without the business game, music, your music ain't going to get nowhere past your goddamn living room and your basement and your friend's ears. That's, I mean, that's crazy. You should want to become a millionaire of music because that means that you're reaching millions of people and touching all these lives and changing the world. You never know whose life you're changing through your gift of music. 
just through your beat because your beat gets with an artist and they put a message on there that may inspire the next person in the world to create something great that creates world peace you never know that's just how it works but because we only see our own life we don't we don't think that big we don't we go no that's you know it's just my little beach ain't gonna do anything in the world you don't understand we're all connected now with the internet i mean it, you never know what you're affecting man so you have to it's your duty to, to get successful off this stuff because to be rich off music production means that you are affecting a lot of lives off your music and, and it's a beautiful thing man don't let nobody tell you different and you can do it just do it just try just try I'm not saying it's not gonna be a hard road I'm not selling you some bullshit I'm telling you the truth it's gonna take work yes it's gonna take slim sleepless nights yes it's gonna take some pain and you're gonna have to grow and change in some bad habits yes I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it doesn't take that but there is a huge pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. Making money in your sleep, it's all worth it. It's worth it, man. To, to, when you don't have to get up and, and survive and you can get up and do what you love to do and money's coming in, there's no better feeling. So I, I, I believe that sacrifice of time and, and energy is, is, is not even, it's an investment. No one want to use words like, it's an investment, it's, it's worth it in the end. And I could be wrong, but that's my opinion, man. And I'm living the life of my dreams because of the investment I've made. And my money, my time, my energy, and I'm still making an investment and, and, and wanting to expand. And I'm telling you that you, you can do it. Nobody told me I can do it. In fact, most people said I couldn't do it. They said, Post, you ain't going to do shit. Go get a job. Go do something. Go to school. You, what, are you, what you're trying to do, you're never going to be successful at it. You're, you're, you're going to fail. You're going to be a failure. You know, what are you going to do for money? You know, like all that crap that, that people were telling me when I was saying I'm going to go for my dreams. And I was sleeping on my sister's floor, hardwood floor in the freezing cold. They said I wasn't going to be nothing with this. They said I need to go get a job and try to work my way up a corporate ladder. That's what they, and this is my parents and family telling me this. I'm not talking about people on the street. My own family, parents were telling me this. I love you. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. You just didn't know what the hell you were talking about. And they'd be the first to tell you that they just didn't know. And it's not a negative thing. It's just they didn't know. People don't know everything. Don't expect other people to know everything about you and, and what's going to happen in your life. It's your job. Stand up on your own two feet and say, I'm going to do this in life. And nobody's going to tell me anything different. That's always been my mentality. That's why it doesn't affect me because I know I'm going to do this. I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to live with my and live and die with my own decisions. Because I can live with my own decision if I don't make it. But I can't live not making it based upon somebody else's decision. And not even trying. I can't live with myself like that. So I'm just going to try. When I found it that as much as you try and you have persistence, it's going to happen. There's no way it's not going to happen. There, and, and studying the mind and studying the universe, trust me, when I tell you that there's a 100% chance that you're going to be successful at it. It may not be in the exact same way that you pictured it. It'll be way different and better than what you imagined. You know, that's the way it works. So, you know, Money March, I'm just trying to keep you going. You know, just understand that uh, as a producer, there's plenty of opportunity for you, but you have to focus on it. You have to focus on your money, focus on growing your business, focus on what you got, focus on expanding, and forget about the rest. And trust me when I tell you, you'll shoot to the top faster than anything you've ever imagined. Just try it.